What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I I had no intentions of getting this done today, um, but here we are. I'm getting my lips fixed. This is something that I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video. Um, it's something I've wanted for a while. It's something I tried to get done and failed miserably years ago. But here we are. I feel like I'm very open with you guys. Um, I'm very honest with you guys about what I do, what goes on in my life. So I wanna take you along with me. Just a little background. I fell when I was an infant. I was like one or two, just learned how to walk. I was born in Texas. Shout out to my Houston girls. So lived in Texas and I fell. Something happened New Year's Day and I slit my lip on the side of a staircase and because it was New Year's Day and I was a child no one would operate on my face so my parents drove around for hours with me screaming in the back seat Ugh, just not the way you want to start off 1992 basically um, 1993 whatever not the way you want to start off your new year so because of me screaming and hospitals turning us away because of my age, this scar got worse and it turned into like a Harry Potter scar. So it was like a lightning bolt. I had a bunch of stitches on the inside of my mouth, stitches on the outside and growing up it was fine. But as I got older, the scar tissue grew and here we are. I have a scar on my lip. It, it's just bothered me. It's always bothered me and making YouTube videos. It's probably my biggest insecurity, like by far my biggest insecurity because it's all I see. And it's not the end of the world, but if it's possible to fix it or make my lips even around the extra scar tissue, I'm gonna try it. About 20 minutes ago, they put numbing cream on me. It went on white, but it's just, looks like lip gloss right now um damn my skin looks so good i just went and got a coffee to cr try and kill time because another 15 minutes to my appointment i don't know if i'm going to like how they come out i don't know if i'm going to upload this video and i'm not trying to walk around with bigger lips i just really want to fix my scar so i don't care if you get your lips done i really don't even care if you have a fake butt fake hair fake nose fake lip botox like i don't care that, that stuff does not bother me. It will never bother me. It's none of my business what other people do with their body. Um, and maybe you don't care that I'm trying to get my lips fixed, but I figured I would just take you guys along with me. So, I don't know, I'm so nervous. Like, no one knows I'm doing this right now. Okay, I'm going in. There's 10 minutes of me rambling. Probably gonna cut half this footage. Probably never even gonna upload. We good. Totally normal. Oh, they look amazing. I think they look good too. They're like perfect. It's not like too much. It's just. Oh my God. I'm still like drooling. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm all red, it's because I was legit just crying. I like want to cry right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy. So I just left. Um, getting them done i was so nervous i oh my god my phone's like blowing up right now oh my god i'm like so happy like <laughs> the fact that she was able to like make them <sighs> okay so I have like struggled with hating, hating my lips for so long, like overlining them, trying to correct the skin color with like makeup and she fixed them. I'm so happy. 
literally as soon as she was done and I looked at my lips, I started crying. Like, I'm so emotional right now. So she was able to keep them natural, which is what I wanted. I don't want my face altered. I just wanted it tweaked, which is why I did it. I'm, I need to stop touching my hair. So I literally just left. I just walked out. Um, this is what they look like. She tried to, well, she did. She injected a little bit over here, but there's like no skin over there. So it's kind of hard, but she got in there. I had an indent from the scar that she evened out right here. So, and then she just filled in just a little bit, like very minimal to make everything even. Um, she didn't get rid of the shape of my lips. She didn't make them look huge. I just feel like myself, like this is what I was supposed to look like. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassing. It's like so vain and like pussy of me that I like let this bother me this much, so. No massaging my lips, no like resting on them or anything for two weeks while the product settles. Um, they're like a little swollen right now, but they'll just go down a little bit. I'm so happy that I did it and I had no plans on doing this, but I'm so happy. My lips feel so weird. I like keep drooling because my mouth is so numb. Um, obviously you guys are gonna care about the pain minimal I didn't I didn't feel like anything like very rare would I feel it even entering into my lip in my skin so really great numbing cream this is to help with swelling yeah pain was minimal I don't even know what product she used I'm so happy I did this I'm sorry I'm so emotional I don't care what your thoughts are on plastic surgery if you do it to redo your face to tweak your face to feel better like do whatever you want it's really not that big a deal it's 2019 girls are walking around getting their fat sucked out of their stomach for an ass like who cares good morning guys so last night i wasn't gonna do this but last night i was thinking about it and then this morning i was just like it has it has to be done um i feel like i would be doing you a disservice if I didn't document what it's like after the injections and the swelling and the bruising and like what your reality actually is after getting loop injections. So here we are. Um, it's not like I didn't leave the house or anything. Last night I had an event and I went to it and someone that's known me like pretty like for a very long time noticed off the rip. She was like, did you do your lips? Um, and not in like a negative way at all, but she just noticed and that was the only person and I was around people that like, I know. Um, I went out to the event, I went to dinner after, no issues, like obviously I have swelling, so it feels foreign, but I'm not in pain, it's not uncomfortable, there's no discomfort whatsoever. Um, I'm still extremely happy with how they look. There is slight bruising, and by slight, I just mean, like, right here. It almost looks like there's a shadow, but it's actually just a bruise, and that's where my, like, actual scar is. So she was trying to inject the area around my scar tissue to match. So, just a little bit of bruising, nothing serious. I'm on my way, it's, I think I already said it, but it's like 7.30 in the morning, 7.40. I'm on my way to my trainer right now. So I just wanna check in with you. It's day two of lip injections. It's the next day. Has not even been 24 hours yet. And this is reality. A Little bit of swelling, minimal bruising. Fabia is seriously an angel, like goddess, heaven sent person and injector. What's up everyone? It is Wednesday, Thursday. It's the Thursday morning, 6.30, I'm on my way to a um, new gym with my girl, Deb. Damn, what's going on? I just wanted to quickly come on and show you what my lips look like. So the swelling has gone down a lot. I also don't have um, a lip mask on, which helps. I do have the bruise still, which you can clearly see. So that just... The bruise is making it look like it's not as fixed, but it really does look so good. So yeah, that's what my lips look like. This is 
this is the new me that you're gonna be seeing. Thank you so much for watching, listening to me cry. Still so embarrassed about that. So if you have any questions, if there's anything that I failed to mention, um, just let me know in the comment section down below. You guys know that you can always direct message me on Instagram and I'm going to answer. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.